good late afternoon people it is almost four o'clock in the afternoon and I have not left this room once um you know late start today not that we got in late last night um but when we did get in we got distracted by our phones we meaning me and my cousin and we probably didn't really go to sleep until like two in the morning and woke up at 10 stayed in bed till 11 and I've just been really slow trying to get myself together for the day. I'm supposed to be going to Kew Gardens. There's a, um, sorry, there's an orchid festival going on today. Um, the theme this year, or not today, but I guess all month. And the theme this year is Columbia. So that's what was on my itinerary today. I really have to, I have to cut this off. It's going to bug me all day. I'm so distracted. But anyway, here's the outfit of today, of the day. I am not going outside with a jacket on. It is 62 degrees right now and I am burning up in this room. I'm burning up because it's a sweater. I realize about 50% of the shirts that I brought or tops that I brought are sweaters because I'm thinking it's winter. It's February. It's supposed to be winter, but no. Um, so this is from ASOS. The pants are from ASOS as well. This are, these are balloon pants, you know, they're just, uh, I don't know, a less voluminous pair or version of the pants, but it still gives me a little bit of hip. And my Primark faux Converse's that are extremely dirty. Maybe I'll get another pair when I'm here. And that is the OOTD. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, that really wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Um, I didn't really eat a lot of the meat because it looked pink, right? And when it comes to chicken, chicken looking pink is not that desired look that you want. You know, you don't want that salmonella look. So, um, I've said this before, but I'm not one to return my food. I picked that a little bit. I ate the garlic naan that did not taste any bit of garlic. And the mango lassi was good. I'll say that. That was good. Um, but in the middle of eating, I was so freaking tired. I was about to go to sleep at that table. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to that orchid festival. Um, but I'm near Hyde Park, so... I'll walk through Hyde Park to feel like I'm doing something today. Because I'm just really tired. The jet lag is real on this go around of um, Europe. This is one of my favorite areas in Hyde Park. I don't know if there's a name for it. All I know is that I enjoy coming by, walking along the water, and just admiring the setup here. Update. I'm officially regretting not bringing a coat with me. I did, thank goodness, think, you know what, maybe it might get a little chillier later on, so let me bring a scarf. But this scarf isn't doing anything right now, like, it is cold out here, I can't deal with it. Yeah, some people are walking around with, like, a lot of skin exposed, and I don't know how they're doing it, um, because I'm wearing a sweater, and I'm like, you know what, it's too cold for just a sweater. So, I think for the rest of the week, because all week, those temperatures are supposed to be in the 60s. I'm going to wear my sweaters and I'm going to wear my coat because this is the second day in a row where I'm out here just like, burr, it's cold out here. It's not 20, 30 degrees cold, but it is cold. As you can see, I'm still in Hyde Park. I've been enjoying my walk, minus the cold. And I seem to be walking in the direction of um, towards Oxford Street more importantly towards Primark 
So yeah, I'm going to Primark after this. That was the most important part of this update. Right when I get in the groove, I was really starting to shop shop at Primark. They make the announcement that, you know what? We closed in 15 minutes, so I had to like rush and get online and then get the heck out of here. So yes, I did buy some things. I'll share that with you when I get back to the hotel. Right now, I just need to go to the bathroom. I'm back in the hotel room. I went to the bathroom. Thank goodness, I need to go so bad. And now let's go into um, the little bit of things that I was able to get at Primark before they closed. They closed so early. I know it's Sunday, but my goodness, it's 6.30 now. So they must have closed at like 5 or probably at 6. But dang, it's early. Anyway, this is what I got. So I was supposed to bring a white cami with me, but um, it needed to be washed and I didn't have time to wash it. So I knew that I had to go to um, Primark to pick up a white camisole. So I mean, nothing special about it. <laughs> and then I saw this um, cami bodysuit next to it. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, I can rock this. I can get with this. And I wanted to stop by the press on nail section because there was a pair that I got last year in this beautiful brown color that went so well with my skin tone and I only bought one pair last time so I was looking for the same color nails this time they didn't have it unfortunately but they had these almond gray ones the colors clay but they're gray and then another pair of gray ones. This one's slate, and um, but this is a pointed style and longer than the almond ones. So these look shorter. Those are longer. And I like the color of these. This peekaboo color in a square style and also short. As you can see, they were all a pound each. So that was all I was able to get when I was in Primark earlier. I really also wanted to try to get a pair of some faux kids or faux converse shoes. Uh, but I can go back any other time this week to get that. I plan on watching some Netflix right now. Uh, and I might get something else to eat later on today. Probably some quick fast food spot. I really need to start drinking more water because, you know, I've been lacking these um, two days. I don't know if I will come back in today because, I mean, I'm not really doing anything. So I'll probably see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, people. Day number three. This is the OOTD for today. So this top is from Zara. I actually got it during my last trip to London in September. And these are my balloon pants that I featured in my travel haul video from ASOS. Okay, I have to quickly get out of here because I have a walking tour to go on, a walking tour of Brixton. I'm not sure how I'm liking my hair parted right now. Do I look like Mr. Glass? That's what I feel like I look like Mr. Glass. Samuel Jackson. We'll see if I switch the part while I'm out. Anywho, well, I'm about to go, like I said, on a walking tour of Brixton. Um, a walking tour given by free tours by foot. Um, I usually go on one of their tours when I visit a new city by because it's free. And um, yeah. Brixton. I think I'm going to be seeing a lot of graffiti or a lot of street art, so that's exciting. I'm hoping I'll be able to take some images of myself because I have not done so at all this trip yet. Definitely bringing my coat with me, even though it's supposed to be in the 60s today because yesterday when I was walking through that park, it was just a little too cold for me. So um, I'll see you in Brixton.
just finished the tour and it was really nice the guide was basically like an artist himself um, once again I got this or I on the free walking tour that's given by free tours by foot so you just pay whatever you want at the end and um, yeah it was really nice I really enjoyed exploring Brixton it's a beautiful neighborhood loved all the street art and I'm just trying to head back to one of the murals that we saw because I want to take some pictures in front of it now that I'm trying to get there I'm realizing I can't remember how to get there but hopefully I find it um, with no trouble I should have um, took note of the street that we were on but that would have made too much sense Finished my little photo shoot. Here are some pictures from that. And now I am going to get something to eat because I have not eaten anything today. I passed a Jamaican spot on the tour, so I saw they had some beef patties up in there. So, what I'm gonna do is get myself a beef patty. I would love it if they had some cocoa bread too. I mean, that would just be like the icing on the cake. So let's hope I can get a beef patty on cocoa bread. You know, people, I was doing really good. I was on the train um, heading back to my hotel so I could eat my food and the train that I got on ended up stopping at Marble Arch Station. That was the last stop and Marble Arch Station it happens to be where the Primark is or one of the Primarks on Oxford Street. So I was like, you know what, yesterday since I couldn't, um, the store closed early and I couldn't really look around, let me look in there now. and. Um, I wasn't expecting to have all this in my hands. I really didn't even bother getting a card or anything because I was like, oh, I'll just look around. I don't think I'll really get anything. And I knew I wanted like another pair of faux Converse um, shoes. I'm getting that, but I'm also getting like two more pair. And I find that I can only find my size in these tight style shoes in the men's section so if you do come into a Primark and you're like a size 9 apparently a very common woman's size and you can't find a sneaker like shoe you want in the women's section take yourself to the men's section um, and you get it in a size 7 men's and you're set I'm going to get myself out of here right now because I really don't need to be doing any more damage I also found some earrings that look nice so I'm just gonna head out now I'm gonna head out so I can finally eat something it's probably two in the afternoon and I still haven't eaten because apparently Primark is a priority <laughs> 